Hi everyone, welcome back to Maggie UK. This is Maggie. Hope everyone is fine. Uh, today I will be going through the topic about the important website for GCSC uh, secondary school um, student. Uh, so you need to watch up to the end, otherwise you will miss that important information in this video. Uh, before I get into the video, please like, share, subscribe to my channel. Uh, don't forget to press the bell button otherwise you don't get all my videos as your notification let's begin so the um, the first thing i want to say about um, the secondary school website the gcse um, exam board um, there are red excel aqa ocr i just want to give some just a, a little brief uh, detail about what is red excel um, the red excel was being uh, owned by uh, pearson red excel from 2013 is a British education and examination board uh, formed in 1996 and it has been owned by uh, PSN since 2005 uh, so this is the only privately examination board in United Kingdom the next one is AQA AQA is nothing but assessment qualification alliance is an awarding board in England Northern Ireland and Wales so let me see about the difference between because um, some schools, if you see, they do like an AQA um, examination board. Some schools, um, they have a Dexel um, board and some of the papers like um, some subjects, they do OCR. So um, if you see the um, Edexel um, uh, papers comparing to Edexel and AQA, Edexel is a um, little bit a tough paper um, conducted um, in some schools for some of the subjects. Most of the schools have a Dexel board for more subjects. Um, the Edexcel uh, weighs the uh, percentage of 40 to 60 percent. Um, Edexcel have a student's choice of writing questions on both papers. The next one is AQA. Um, if you see AQA board, um, it puts a less pressure on students uh, when they do the test. But the grading system is still the same from one to nine for both of them. But um, the the topics and all the uh, things they covered when they ask in the exams is little bit um, is not tough uh, papers when you compare to a Dexel and AQA. Uh, when we come back to the OCR, um, if you see computer science papers, most of the schools have OCRs and they have two papers. One is like for programming skills. Um, they do like paper one, which is for program testing your programming skills. And for uh, paper two, you will have uh, like a written assessment, um, written paper, which covers all the theoretical um, questions um, for the um, OCR board. Um, so this is the uh, exam boards that covers for all the secondary school. Um, I'm going to show you some of the useful website for uh, Max, Science and English. Okay, uh, today, um we will be looking at this uh, secondary school website that will be useful for your children to do at home or if you want to practice any materials or you want to do any revision or you want to see any GCSE paper for um, students who are in year 9. So these are some of the websites that have been uh, put in the Word document which is the Max which is called Hegarthi Max. Most of the children will know this and Corbett schools will also um, use some of their videos to play for them to do at um, school my max uh, my son school used this for do some doing some activity they set some homework for them to do as well and this is max made easy and there's a bite-sized school use as well so today i will be showing you um, the website corbett max um, which will be covered for all the topics for from primary till gcsc i will be showing you some of the contents that's used in school if you see here you have 2d shapes 3d shapes and if I go to videos and worksheets um, if you see here 2d shapes starting from there and you have algebra um, and then you have angles so you have areas for parallelogram all this one so plenty of um, resource with a video as well as some questions with your um, answers as well uh, but if I go into one of this one, um, I expanding brackets that I already made a video about this as well. So if I um, click on this, it will give you a video, but I'm not going to show here because uh, when I if I speak, that will clash me. So I'm not going to show you. You can go and play around at home 
so in this one this is a video they have two different you can run in any way and the next um, this is some of the videos you have if you want to go to the worksheet um, you click on uh, the practice questions now uh, let me go into the same one which is an expanding brackets so practice question so if you see there's an exam style question and they also said about the video what video is it and they have given some questions for you for your children to do at home so this is you can you can print it or you can keep your laptop or your computer open and you can ask your children to do at home this one. so the next one is so the next website i'm going to show is the max made easy uh, GCSE revision topics will be in this one if you see here they have a past papers GCSE max past papers and all past papers here and also there is like a revision you can revise it according to your topics like if I want to go to any kind of a uh, uh, maybe standard form if I click on this this is one of the GCSE max revision topics they will give you what is it so like they have given um, if the question is a multiple choice, you need to do like a test, start the test now. So I'm going to show you how it looks. So in this one, they have given for small numbers, no decimal point, and they have given a question. So they have given what you need to do, and they will be given some questions um, with your answers, and you need to select the answers, and you need to do this, and it contains lots and lots of um, questions inside. So that's one of it. And there's a past papers here for any past papers. If you want to go for max for A levels, um, if you are in exam board, AQA, like I already said, Edexcel, AQA board, exam papers are available in here, OCR, so all these forms. So, so that's the other um, website. So, and then the next one, there's some uh, signs I will be showing you this. Um, this is something about the topics covered for at school. So if you see here, there is like biology paper one, chemistry paper one. So I'm not going to go into this. You just have to go and um, look at yourself when you are at home. So they have worksheets here. They have workbooks, printer downloads, everything you can do here. Um, and then for English, there is a GCSE paper. So this is like a revision guide, what the exam paper will be looking like for your English paper one, paper two, um, like how to do, how many hours the test is, and some of the examples are given as here, um, how the paper looks for their English um, GCSE papers. Okay, so um, I hope this video will be very useful for all the secondary children, um, all the secondary students. So hope uh, um, if you need any help, because I have plenty of resources, not only this, I have more. If you want, you have to email it to me, then I will respond it to you. Hope you like this. I'm um, useful for your kids. Um, keep watching all my videos. Okay, hope um, this video will be very useful to you. If you need more details about any of the websites, you need to email it to me, then I will respond to you. Um, thanks for watching. Please like, share, subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to press the bell button. Otherwise, you won't get all my videos as your notification. Until I see you in another video, Maggie signing off from you. Bye. Please subscribe to my mom channel.